Okay, so in today's math lesson, uh, we're dealing with two-step word problems, which is uh, a lot of fun as long as you know how to draw these models. So I have Mr. Revis, and what we're going to do here is draw one of these nice little area models here. Okay, he's dealing with a can of paint. It's one full can of paint. So there's my one can of paint. The entire model is going to represent one whole. We're going to break this into sections. He uses it for different things. He uses three-eighths of the can of paint for a bookshelf. So I'm going to split, put a little divider right there. That's going to be three-eighths, and that's for the shelf. There we go. Now he uses one quarter of the paint for a wagon, of the can, sorry. So one quarter of the can for a paint a wagon. And then he uses some of it for a birdhouse. A little house. I don't know what that value is, but after it's all done, he has one-eighth left. There's one-eighth left over. Okay? Now visually, take a look. We have four sections. They add up to one whole can of paint. The question mark is what we're looking for here. This is the part that's missing. Well, if it's split into four parts and I know three of the parts, well, it's logical to assume, therefore, that if I'm looking for one of those pieces, if I add these three together and I subtract it from that one whole can, then I'm left with what I'm looking for. Okay? It's kind of like... Here's a different situation altogether. Let me take something similar. But it is a different situation altogether. Let me take 20 total. I don't know. 20 uh, apples. Okay. Okay. Now, if I have two over here, four over here, and six over here, the question is how many are over here? Well, you know, one great, one great strategy is to simply add these three together, 2 plus 4 plus 6. Well, that gives me 12. Well, if the total is 20, and I know three of the parts is 12, this guy must be 8. How do I know? I take 12 from 20. I'm going to do the same thing here. Same strategy. I'm going to take my 3 eighths, my 1 quarter, and my 1 eighth. I'm going to add them. Once I have that value, I'm going to subtract it from my 1 whole, and I'll be left with what I'm looking for. All right, so let's do that. It's going to look like this. 3 eighths plus 1 quarter plus some value plus 1 eighth is going to equal 1 full can of paint or 1 whole. Now, I can add these in any order I want because of the commutative property, just like these guys. I could have added the 6 and the 4 and gotten 10 and then added the 2, or I could have added the 2 and the 4 gotten 6 and then added the other 6, and I either way I get 12. So because of that, I'm looking at these 8s right now, and I'm liking that a lot because I already have the correct denominator. They're the same. So 3 eighths plus 1 eighth, let me write that out here, 3 eighths plus 1 eighth, it's going to automatically give me 4 eighths, which is great. So I'm all set in that regard. So two of them are added together. I just have to add that one quarter. So this is part A over here. All right, so a little part B over here. So now I'm going to add that one quarter. So let's take that 4 eighths. Let's go over here a little bit. 4 eighths. I added two of the parts. I'm going to add the one quarter. And plus some other value, because I don't know what that is. And now that's going to equal one full can of paint. Okay, not sure where that 4 eighths came from again. It was from this guy and this guy. So 3 eighths plus 1 eighth gave me that 4 eighths. Now I need to add these two. So what I'm going to do is now draw this out a little bit so I can see what's going on. Okay, so this guy is going to represent my 4 eighths. This guy is going to represent my 1 quarter. Okay, because I'm trying to add quarters and eighths. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to split this into eighths. This represents my four eighths. Two of them, three of them. Here are my four eighths. Here, I'm going to split this into quarters. Notice I'm going in the other direction. There's a reason for that. Here's my one quarter. Now I'm going to multiply my quarters by eighths and my eighths by quarters. Best way to do that? Well, just transpose. This is why I went in different directions before. So now one can be the other and the other can look like the other guy here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so everything's in uh, eighths and fourths, which combine to be 30 seconds. So here's a 32 here. Here's a 32 here. This guy winds up being 16 over th 32. And if I count these, that's 8 over 32. Plus some value is going to equal one whole. Okay, if I combine these two, uh, that gives me 24. 16 plus 8 gives me 24 over 32. Plus some value is going to equal 
one whole can of paint. Now, if this is one whole can of paint, and I'm trying to remove or use 24 out of 32, let's go over here for a second, I'm going to take that one whole can of paint, I'm going to turn it into 32 over 32, because 32 over 32 is one whole. Now I'm going to remove that 24. Okay, this is, represents the paint we used. Actually, it represents uh, the paint we used and the part that we have left over. What's left will then be what he used for the birdhouse. So if I subtract these two values, uh, let's say 32 minus 24 gives me 8 over 32. And that's my final answer, or almost my final answer, because... 8 over 32, I can divide both of these guys by the same value of 8. I can reduce this or simplify, and I get 1 out of 4. Okay, so my final answer reads something like this. Mr. Rivas uh, will use or used 1 quarter can of paint. Or, oops, or his, and he used it for his birdhouse, right? Birdhouse. Terrific. Okay, folks, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.